Emerson with Mrs. De Lorenzo, and today I'm going to talk about the curriculum we have for writing and for math. For writing, we have the curriculum um, Being a Writer, which uses a lot of mentor texts to give kids ideas about how authors think of their ideas for writing, how they organize it, and how they use uh, word choice. Your students have two um, workbooks. One is their skill practice book, and one is their um, handbook. Students also have a writing journal where they draft stories and write down ideas they have for stories. Our math curriculum is Bridges, and we have number corner that focuses on patterning and reteaching and pre-teaching what students work on in their regular Bridges curriculum. And the main focus for third grade is multiplication and fractions, which we will be getting into soon. So thank you and have a good day. Hello to all of our third grade families. My name is Mrs. DiLorenzo, for those of you who don't know me, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the materials that we use to teach reading at third grade here in our school district. So your students, um, if they've been at Central, they're not using this for the first time. Fontas and Pinnell materials were adopted two years ago in K2, and so your children had these materials at first grade and at second grade. And then last year, um, third grade began using these materials as well. And this year, fourth through sixth now have the materials for their grade levels. So these materials are amazing. We do a lot of read alouds with students so that they're exposed to lots of different types of text at their grade level. And I have a set here that we'll be using in the next week, all about animals. So these are built around a theme and we use those as we learn to be uh, readers who really think about what we're reading and readers who write about their reading. So you will see your student using this notebook to do writing about their own reading as well as writing about the reading that we do together. And sometimes you might notice if you're watching our lessons, we may do something called word study. So this is where we really look closely at words and think about how words might be spelled, um, how words might sound, and meanings of words and all sorts of different focuses that we will have. Um, and I take that from the word study that comes with Fontas and Pinnell Classroom. We also will be practicing lots of different ways to think about reading, and a lot of those lessons will come from this book called Reading Mini Lessons. Uh, we hope to be sending home soon some of the books that go with book clubs and guided reading groups. So you might be seeing those books come home in the distribution bags, and we just ask that you take good care of those books and return them when we're finished with them, and that way we can be sure to get more books out to students because that's where books really need to be is in their hands. So I hope that this helped you understand our reading materials a little bit better. And we did send home um, some different letters that explained our different materials that we're using. And we are also sending that to you in the email. So thank you and please always come ask questions. We have office hours Monday through Thursday from 2.15 to three o'clock and also on Fridays from 12 to one o'clock. I look forward to talking to you.